Are you struggling to grow your business? Then you are not alone. Now in this video, we're going to focus on one of the most important things that affect businesses, especially small to medium sized businesses. One of those issues is what we call customer acquisition and retention. So in this video, we're going to look at five common pitfalls that causes businesses to fail in customer acquisition and retention. Hi, I'm Kenneth, a business consultant that specializes in helping small to medium sized businesses thrive. Our goal here is to make sure that we understand the common pitfalls that businesses uh, face on a day to day basis. Now in understanding this, then you can come up with viable strategies that help you adapt to changing environmental uh, needs and therefore help your business to thrive. So in this video, we're going to dive deep into issues that relate to customer acquisition and retention. Is your business acquiring customers? Is your business gaining as far as the customer base is concerned? And once you have done that, are you retaining your customer, especially if you have that kind of product which requires customers to buy perpetually or to buy more than once? Are you able to retain your customers? This is a very prevalent, especially when you're dealing with consumer goods, where a consumption is not only once, consumption is a continuous experience. If that is the case, then acquisition is only part of the problem. The next issue that arises then is once you have acquired them, are you able to retain your customers to stay with your particular brand and continue to support your business with their sales? One of the biggest reasons why businesses fail as far as customer acquisition is concerned is poor marketing. Now, poor marketing here refers to your marketing strategy. Now, there are a lot of things that you need to do right as far as your marketing strategy is concerned. Now, if it is not done right, then that creates a problem because you're not going to be in a position to convince those customers, those potential customers to become your customers. So uh, the issues here relate to uh, things such as uh, identification of target market. Have you identified your target market correctly? And which channels are you using for your marketing communications? Are these the most appropriate channels that you can use in order to reach your audience? And then the third issue there is uh, creating compelling content that resonates with your target audience. Sometimes it's not basically about creating the best advert that has got uh, the best colors and the best motion graphics and so forth. If it does not really resonate with your target audience, then it is a useless advert. It's just another cost that you incur that will not bring you any return at all. So your marketing strategy must be able to cover all these things. In order to deal with this situation, make sure that you've got a very comprehensive market strategy. You can use a, a business a model tools such as Business Canvas to clearly understand what your value propositions are and also segment your market properly. If you do this, then you are able then to craft a very a, appropriate market strategy that will give you that ability to acquire the right kind of customers into your business. The second issue that I have found out with most of my clients is that they have what I can describe as an unclear and weak value proposition. Now, if this is the case in your business, then you lose that ability to gain the customers that you need to gain. So all the other prospective customers are looking for a value proposition that is clear. Most of the value propositions out there, you find that one, they really fail to, to communicate the benefits of the product. What benefit is your product or your service bringing to a potential customer? Obviously, the customer also has got pain points. What pain points is your product or service going to a, a, a address in the customer? In the mindset of the customer, they are looking for something that will address that particular issue. Does your value proposition show that? Another issue again is 
does your value proposition differentiate you from the competitors if you are just like any other generic uh, product or service there then you find yourself losing in competition because you've got other bigger brands that uh, really invest huge uh, efforts and, and and resources in making sure that theirs is a clear value proposition so in such a competition scenario the chances of winning those customers uh, reduces drastically so what you need to do here is to take time to find out exactly what your uh, value proposition is refine it and make sure that it is clear and that you are communicating it quite clearly to your potential customers and also make sure that you use customer feedbacks and also market research to gain insights on what customers really want and then create the right kind of value that will address those particular needs in doing so then your value proposition will get the right kind of attention that will bring in the customers that you need for your business the third issue there is neglecting customer service now as i said earlier getting customers sometimes might be easy for you right but once you have those customers how are you servicing them what is it that you're doing to make sure that you maintain that connection with your customers now maintaining that connection means that you are doing all that you need to do to make sure that you retain them and customer service is usually central to this once your customer has bought things from you are there any follow-ups that you're making are you going to find out exactly whether the product worked with them now sometimes it takes just a thank you a message of thank you to that particular customer to maintain and create retaining a, a visit from that particular customer we need to really remember that happy customers become brand advocates which means that they'll speak for you and word of mouth has got more power than most of the advertising tools and channels that you're using another thing is that excellent service can also turn a negative experience into something positive the customer sees that you care about their happiness they see that you care about their satisfaction as far as that need is concerned therefore you are able to turn any negative circumstance into a, a positive turnaround and this will cause you to retain those customers it is also important to take note of the fact that retention is always more cost effective than acquisition on average a lot of businesses spend much less on retention compared to acquiring new customers so what you need to really concentrate on in this case is to make sure that you are training your teams training your staff uh, and making sure that you introduce a uh, good systems and processes that will improve the quality of your customer service The fourth issue also that I've realized is that uh, inconsistent branding uh, is a very big problem, especially as far as customer acquisition is concerned. Now, a lot of businesses, uh, they've got inconsistent messages across different platforms and uh, some even to the point where you don't know the simplest thing such as uh, brand colors or maybe a different logo here, a different this or that. On different platforms so in in essence what you're doing is you're communicating a different message all the time so as far as brand positioning the brand voice that is coming out from your business now it differs every time so it is difficult for businesses to identify with you because remember as far as a brand is concerned they are associating the product the service to a certain emotion or to a certain feeling or to something about them that they can see in the brand so in giving inconsistent messages you begin to confuse those customers and that creates a very big problem especially if you ever you're going to acquire or retain them sometimes even those that you have acquired you find it impossible for you to retain them because another message will be in conflict with the previous message that they knew concerning 
your particular product or service. So you need to make sure that uh, your branding is consistent across all platforms and also that it aligns with your value proposition. There are no inconsistencies there. What you say, again, is exactly what you are willing to give to the customers whenever they approach you for yourself. And always, most importantly, it must resonate with your target audience. So in essence, basically, you must make sure that you develop a brand strategy that creates consistency in your messaging to your target audience and making sure that your appeal does not change in the negative or does not change to the point where it begins to confuse your target customers. Make sure at all times that that consistent message uh, breathes the same life of the business, which could be a quality product or a quality service, which could be a certain uh, attributes that the customer is looking for in that particular brand. The fifth one, which is the last uh, but not least, is ignoring uh, data analytics. Now, it is impossible for you to succeed in the current business environment uh, by ignoring data analytics. We are in a we are in a tech age, and in this tech age, the data, data, and more data is what gives you that foothold into the market. So basically, without data, is like you are flying blind. You do not have navigation whatsoever and the only result there is that you're going to crash without navigation you will crash this is one of the reasons why your business fails then to either acquire or to retain customers data will give you a the valuable insights that you need to know about your target audience about your market about their differences and their changing in test in preferences and there are a whole lot of other things by just considering the data that the market is giving you concerning your target audience there are so many tools that you can use and if you're interested in those please leave a comment down below and we'll do a video specifically for that so in this case you find a, bit, a lot of businesses failing and uh, to have a key performance indicators they do not have clear kpis that can be used to monitor their performance uh, whenever they're going through a project or uh, how their marketing communication or their marketing strategy, their adverts are doing. You need to have key performance indicators that you can use to check a different milestones. Are you achieving the goals that you set out to achieve? You also need to analyze customer behavior and preferences. Are the customers changing in their behavior? Uh, is it seasonal? Uh, their demand for a particular product or particular uh, service has the preference changed to other alternatives what is it that is for instance motivating their buying behavior once you know this then this will improve your acquisition greatly and it is also important that every decision that you make it must be supported by reliable data sources uh, in doing so and then your decision making is on point every time and all the time so you need to make sure that uh, you implement robust uh, data analytics tools and also every time make sure to review whether the tools that you're using are giving you the right kind of results that you're looking for. Avoiding these five pitfalls and many more uh, that we did not speak about here then can be quite a big problem for you as far as uh, acquisition of customers as well as retention is concerned. Make sure that at all times you are doing all that you need to do to make sure that you improve on your customer acquisition. In doing so, your business will grow and in growing, it will grow while retaining the customers that you have acquired. So acquisition goes together with retention. You acquire them in order to retain them. That way, you continue growing your market influence and your market presence to make sure that you become successful as a business brand. If you're also looking for a personalized uh, advice for a particular business, please leave a comment down below. I'll also leave a link there so that we can give you a free consultation to try and help your business grow. Otherwise, if you found this video valuable, give it a thumbs up, share with your uh, entrepreneurial friends and also subscribe if you have not yet subscribed 
hit the notification button so that you continuously get a new and fresh insight to help your business grow. This is results oriented preparation. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.